And we're back with We Talk Over Monster Hunter World. I just cheated, guys. Made two flash pods while you weren't looking. Totally. <laughs> but now he's going to be sleeping because you see I got that skull on his head, so I'm going to go plant some bombs on his face. I'm going to blow his face up. I never used items like that. I only use items on myself. I don't think I ever use a flash pod, although I wanted to start. And I don't think I ever... I never did any barrels or any explosives. But I also felt like those were things that other classes made better use of anyway. Yeah, well, it, 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 uh, definitely the thing, too, that you didn't need to worry about until you started getting to this stage in the game, right? Like, uh, the, the big tempered monsters, yeah. the tempered elder dragons. Those are the ones that you actually wanted to get, like, the, any any extra advantage you could on them. They did, I, I, In that way, I actually felt like the game did a pretty good job of warming you up to, like, the higher-end difficulty stuff. Uh, something they brought up on the Co-Optional Podcast, it was something about, uh, like, people would set up all the bombs, and then, I guess, reuse... Hadouken does one damage. Ah, oh, shit! There we go. <laughs> Bombs got him. <laughs> so the Hadouken does one damage, so it's useless. Uh, but they'll do it to set off the bombs, bombs. so it'll actually feel like Hadouken dealt some damage. <laughs> <laughs> so there was another thing where I was just told that people don't judge, people don't care. So when you go up, like I was at a... So 7-Eleven and Lawson... They're everywhere. Some Japanese company bought 7-Eleven. 7-Elevens are fucking everywhere. And they're awesome. Yeah, they love convenience stores over there. Um, the convenience stores actually have healthy shit. In yeah, them. you know, like, the, it's they're actually, like, almost like little grocery stores, right? Like, uh, to, well, not so much that. It's just that they have healthy options. If you go to a convenience store here, there aren't any. There are donuts and candy and cookies <laughs> and chips. Wait, those aren't healthy? No. <laughs> Um, that reminds me of uh, Red versus Blue, the vowel alphabet. For breakfast, I had asparagus and Aero Oreos. <laughs> Ooh, I should try that. I'll even skip the asparagus. <laughs> so, they, it's just, they have healthier stuff there. They have a lot of rice uh, rice things there, which I know people are going to think, oh, carbohydrates, whoa, whatever. Carb it's still carbs. healthier than a fucking... Well, your body needs carbs too, so. But Shining Streamstone? We'll see what we get. That could be exciting. Or it could be like something for a bow gun, and I'll be like, fuck my life. <laughs> Let me get a bow. <laughs> Fucking called it. <laughs> uh. I, so I've seen this thing on Reddit with this game. They call it the desire detector, I think. I don't think it's real. I think it's like they're like joke conspiracy. Uh -oh. But the idea is like the more you use certain things, the more the game realizes you like those things. So it gives you other shit. <laughs> okay, well, okay. So there's that. But there's also the thing that a lot of people talked about in Destiny where it's I want this strike so I can use the fucking chest the key on the chest at the end, and therefore I will go through 100 strikes before I see it again. Yeah. In the Heroic Strike playlist. <laughs> so, um, that's why Nightfalls being certain things were so popular, like when there, there was a fucking... Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm oh, gonna yeah, go strike. Go grasp Malik. God, I did so many of those, and I didn't even care. It wasn't even for PvP for me. It was because there was a role in there that I wanted for PvE, because I wanted to get Pulse Rifles to kind of matter in PvE. Um... Or better, more. Do, 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 do. Body complete. What'd I do for you? I hate it when... So you, it's random which one of these three you talk to, and I always want to talk to the sexy chick right there. And it always has me talk to this fucking midget instead. <laughs> and I'm only calling him a midget because he's not a midget. Let's see. He's a dwarf creature. Thing. What do they call these things? Uh, they call them something. They are they are a race of... Uh, I just don't know what they're called. What were you? Were you? Nope, you aren't hard. So I'll grab him. <laughs> you aren't hard. <laughs> so, you know, when you go, so convenience store is, is going to sell hentai and just nude but censored <laughs> images of, of real women and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so you just go to the counter and they don't judge. They don't care. Um, they, no one judges <laughs> you for anything. That's just not the way they do. They're there to do their job. So, and that transitions into another thing. Doing their job. Um, they are really good at doing their job, whatever their job is, most of the time. There were people that were at... There were, there were two women that were standing out in front of a... Oh, what was it? It was some clothing store or something like that? And they worked there, and they, they intended 
to ask you a bunch of questions when you started and help you find what you wanted immediately. They didn't want you to stick around and buy a bunch of shit. That's an American thing. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to help. They wanted to help you. They wanted to help you do whatever it is you came there to do and leave happy. They would thank you at the end for coming into their store and shopping with them. Um, it was important to them that you had a good time. No matter what it was, it could have been fast food. It could have been... Oh, my God. I love, like... Anything. Oh, hey, look at this. I got some helpers. Sweet. <laughs> so it was really neat that they were like this. It was such a, a nice change. Mm -hmm. And that kind of could lead me into how easy it was to run around in English. But... Um, Did you have an easy time or a hard time? There were problems at train stations. I will say that. So you'll see a bunch of videos on YouTube saying, it's easy, you don't need to learn Japanese to go to Japan. And that's true. I did not learn any Japanese while I was there because I was only there for two weeks. I was doing work. You didn't learn? Where's the ATM? Like, I think no, it's because, Koinokopo. No, because <laughs> <Dakota Sky. laughs> all of the ATMs had an English button on it. Yeah, no, I know. It was awesome. So <laughs> it was just, okay. You know what the funny part was? I don't know if you experienced this. So like when you were going through airports, you could see like the, coin, the currency exchange stations mm -hmm. and stuff. You got better exchange rates if you just went to an ATM. Yeah. I always use ATM to get money. And then when I was changing, at the end of the trip, when I was changing my yen back into American dollars, I went around to the airport because all the different stations were controlled by different companies and they had different exchange rates. Yeah. So I found one that was close to what was actually real yeah and use that one no i I, was, so I think at the time the exchange rate was 106.25 yen to a dollar and i found a place that was doing 104.75 or something but then there was also another place that was doing in the 90s yeah no there were some places that are just terrible they were awful like that was the one thing that we were kind of blown away like the ground we went back in like 2009 but it was um you know like the exchange rate was up just i mean it Always is right around a hundred, right? And that's yeah. where it still was. But like every place that we saw in airports, they were doing like eighty yen to the dollar. And it's like, man, that doesn't seem good. So I'm gonna let so the, uh, I'm gonna let this carry person. She's gonna take all like the med kits and stuff because she, her build. I know her build. Her build is actually like maxed out wide range and maxed out speed eating. And so she actually plays as a healer. Because wide range makes it so whenever you eat an item, like if you have max ranks, it'll have a hundred percent effect on everyone in your team within like a pretty big range of you. That I did not know existed. Yeah, so like you're also gonna start saying I'm probably gonna start getting buffs fairly soon here. That's gonna be from her too. Neat. Yeah, no, that's uh, it, it's it's pretty cool. Like there's this, it's actually really neat what you can do in this game. There's a lot of different builds and they're all pretty viable, which is that to me is the the good part, right? Like. It's not just, oh, here's like a bunch of different ways you can all do damage. It's like, here's just different ways you can play the game, period. And you'll probably still be able to do everything in the game. That was a big thing that came out back when the game first came out with the uh, the music weapon. Um, where people didn't think that it was just viable to use, especially right. single player. Oh, what? Why? You just got pelted in the back <laughs> by a fucking, fucking pigeon. Fucking bird. <laughs> so... <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right. Murder that fucking thing. <laughs> you wanted a fight, you're gonna get a fight. Let's do this. So, um, that music Let's weapon. Talk about that, miss. I remember there being a post on the Reddit, um, and I start. I followed the Reddit for a while, but then the Reddit just became nothing but. I captured this. Look at me. Look at my cat. Look at this picture you, we took. Are you talking about the Monster Hunter World subreddit or the Monster Hunter subreddit? Which uh, I think was a Monster Hunter World. Yeah, it that was one has but that. That one has turned into like nothing but like memes and. Why like, can't they make a thread for each of those things and keep that shit in there? Because Jesus Christ, that was the most unhelpful fucking subreddit I've ever been a part of. Yeah, the, the Monster Hunter, which I guess was the original subreddit okay. for, the, for the game series. Or whatever, right? Like, yeah. that one you can actually get, like, legit info on. Okay, I need to go look at that one once I start playing this game. So I'm going to start bringing my PS4 around with me when I travel now. Uh, which I'm told, do not put it in your checked bag. Not only because of how shittily they they treat them, I thought, yeah. well, whatever, I'll pack it safely. I'll pack it in a box, oh. in a bubble thing. But no, apparently shit just gets fucking stolen. 
So I would not doubt it either. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna bring it in my check baggage, which means I'm gonna have to spend even more time at the fucking TSA counter because normally I was. Oh, I remember having a thing on my Palico that it would just randomly put the fucking monster to sleep, and that was pretty useful. But anyway, I already have to pull out two fucking laptops and my DS every time I go through TSA. Now I'm going to have to plop a fucking PS4 in a tray as well. But you know what? I don't care. That's them rules. Yeah. So I'll start following that once I start playing again. Because I'm going to bring my PS4 with me. I'm going to start um, doing some streaming where it's my... I'm actually... This is going to be weird. I'm going to stream on Twitch because I'm going to kind of put it into the this, this speed running. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be in the speed running category on Twitch, and I'm going to be doing solo nightfalls as fast as I can on Destiny 1, where speed actually matters. And uh, Well, I, mean, I guess speed matters here in Destiny 2 because it affects your score, but back then, you didn't break, you didn't hit 30 minutes, you didn't get the fucking Zavala bounty that had an icebreaker attached to it. Oh, right, yeah. I don't care about the icebreaker. I already that, have that, it. Is that 142 hit? No. Um, I think I already have it on that there. account. It's on the PS4, so I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. I don't care about the icebreaker. I'm just going to be... Not anymore. Year 1 was one of my babies, but... Um, you didn't get to experience that. You didn't I... get to experience the good icebreaker. <laughs> you didn't join until after taking King. <laughs> so, anyway... And then I'm going to be, but I'm going to be recording it, and it's going to be going into, uh, I'm going to be putting the good plays on YouTube. So the actual clears that I do with each subclass. Uh Uh-huh. I could do all nine subclasses every week. Should be able to. Um, Those I'll upload to uh, YouTube as edited videos. Um, Some weeks it's going to be so fucking easy, I'll probably do it in nine straight clears. But So I'll be bringing my PS4 with me and trying to stream with it and so on. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, don't hit me! Oh, no! <laughs> so, when it, when it came to getting around, the big difficulty came into play on train stations because I didn't know what fucking direction this train was going. Oh, sure. That It would tell me where it was headed to, and that was as good as it would get normally. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that was... You know, I would have to then go find a map, which are not as... Off. They aren't as common as I thought. As I hope they would be. I can walk in both directions, 300 feet, and not find one. Sometimes, but it, you know, I'm going to Fujisawa. I'm not going to these other places. But Fujisawa is not big enough to be called out as one of the places that this train goes. So I have to go find a map to see if those places are in the same direction. And even then, sometimes there was one time I got on going in the wrong direction, and I had to correct that later. But that's where the difficulty comes into play. There are There is English lettering for everything. Yeah. Just about everything everywhere in those train stations. But it doesn't mean that you're going to know exactly where you're going every time. So sometimes you have to get help. Um, there was one, per, one time where a worker came up to me and she asked me in English, do I need help? And it was awesome that she did because that particular one the train that I was on stopped for some reason. I knew I was on the right one and it just stopped and unloaded. So that was, (laughs) and so I had to get off and find another one because that thing was just sitting there on the tracks. So I was like, fuck, I know I need to be on this gate here, but this gate's not working or this uh, platform doesn't have anything. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? So I was very glad that she came up and helped. So. Oh God. Back off, back off, back off. Your teammates, are they around you? Yeah, they're right there. They're not showing up on the map very well. No, they're buried underneath his icon. Oh my gosh. Why? Because you need the map to tell you that this big ass fucking monster is right there. Right in front of me. Instead of having your teammates over it. Do I have? I don't. Anyway, guys, we're going to cut it here, but we're going to come right back. So, we are done talking. See you soon.